Welcome one to another edition of Play It Through, and on this edition it's Wheel of Fortune, brought to us by Game Tech and developed by Rare. Since I played Jeopardy just a little bit ago, I figured I'd go ahead and play its counterpart, Wheel of Fortune, as well. We're just going to play through a single game against the computer on level 3. And our goal, of course, is to win the game and the prize at the end. Let me go ahead and enter in my name here. Wheel of Fortune on the NES is a nice two-player game. It's very quick to get through. It's about eight, eight or so minutes is all it really takes, honestly, to get through one game. This will take a little bit less. I'll speed through a bit, just because I've pretty much found out that when it comes to spinning the wheel, if I just do so very quickly, just press the button as fast, I just have as much luck then as I do by spinning it with a lot of power. Got some L's, go ahead and buy a vowel and buy an A there. Go back and spin some more. I'm not the greatest at Wheel of Fortune, I'm much better at just straight up like trivia and Jeopardy and the like. But I've always enjoyed watching and uh, playing the various Wheel of Fortune video games over the years. With the eye, I now know what I actually have for the puzzle. I know the answer. Achilles' heel is going to be the answer. But before we go ahead and solve it, I'm going to try to get a little bit more points first, or money first. If you don't know how it works with Wheel of Fortune, basically, you have the money amounts on the wheel, and that's what you earn per letter that you get correct when you guess one. If you get it wrong, your turn's over, and it goes to the next contestant. In order for the money to actually count for you, you have to solve the puzzle, and then that goes to your total, and whoever has the most amount at the end goes to the final round, which is a little bit different. Now that we know what it is, and we've gotten everything but the vowels, go ahead and solve it for Achilles Heel and rack up $2,500. Round number two, we have a title. It's not going to start with me this time. It starts with one of the uh, AI characters, Chris here. The AI for level three is pretty good. They will end up getting uh, quite a few letters. They don't make a ton of mistakes. It's not, like, unbelievably difficult, though. If you just know how to play Wheel of Fortune at all, you'll still be able to best them. Trying to look at the puzzle while they're picking out their various letters. The get an idea of what I want to go with when it's my turn. Not quite sure what's going on. I may know what one of the words is just by, you know, process of elimination, but that's about it. <laughs> there we go. It is exactly what I thought. It was going to be, going to be love or live. Uh, is what I was thinking it was here. guess an R, just another solid letter to guess, and fill in a spot down there. Guess another letter here and fill out a bunch of E's. Quite a lot of E's. I knew there was at least one. Didn't know there was going to be that many. So now we have either it's something, it's either love or live, and yep, it's going to be it's love me tender is going to be the answer takes a little bit sometimes, and the pieces start to come together, and you end up getting it. Then again, there's those people out there that have one letter, and they're like, yep, I know every every word already, just by that single letter. Or no letters, just the blanks. You can put in a good guess. We get a free spin, which just means we spin again. And that'll be it for all of the letters. Just have the vowels here. All the consonants are gone. Finish up with the O and solve the puzzle.
And you can see that they don't end up getting the money. Even though they earn some, they don't actually get it to their total because they didn't end up winning. Now for the speed round, what happens is every letter is worth a certain amount, the same amount. They spin at the beginning of the round, which free spin is not an amount, so <laughs> they have to spin that again. So every letter we get correctly is worth 600, and you can guess any letter. If you get a letter correctly, you then get a chance to solve the puzzle. Unfortunately, there are no M's. Well, we have as a, but not sure what the rest is. Apparently no use. I'll go ahead and guess an I so we can cover most of the vowels here. They're all done. I unfortunately am not sure what the puzzle is at this point. And apparently the AI has it, which is meat as a pin. I don't even know that phrase, so probably something that's not even used that often anymore. I maybe have I've heard it, but meat as a pin. That's the answer, and that's the reason I didn't get it. <laughs> but I still have the most amount of money, so we're going on to the final round where we're going to play for a Porsche here. So for the final round here, at this point, you get to guess five consonants and a vowel, and then it fills in those spots. And then it's your turn to guess what the answer ends up being. This is a place. So usually what I'll do is I just kind of like look at each letter and kind of fill it in to see if it even remotely starts making a word. And when I get to E, I realize it's Ellis Island is the answer. It took a bit of me kind of like looking at it, because it didn't look like anything at first. I'm like, SLA. Couldn't get it, but then no, Island. Of course, Ellis Island. Duh. It's right there. It's screaming at me. You're screaming at you, I'm sure. You were probably yelling at me to guess it earlier than I did. But we end up winning a fabulous prize, the Porsche. If only. And then it goes back to the title screen where you can start the game all over again. But with that, that will wrap up this episode of Play It Through. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.